Ah, oh, Mars at last. Rachel, this one's for you. Please celebrate. It's one thing to be this close, but how do we get down there? It's not like we can just land this thing. It's all in the plan. We're going to sneak into Dymos completely undetected. With the Mars defense system in place, this better be good. Now, now, Leon, I know of a trick or two. All truckers have ways of getting in and out. Sounds fishy. It may be, but it'll get us on the planet, and that's all that counts. Okay, so we get down there and then what? Five years later, Mama's not still going to be in Basilia County. Rumors, secrets, and scandals must spread like wildfire on Mars. It's simply a matter of asking the right questions. What? What do you know about Mars anyway? What's there to know about it? It has two moons and a whole lot of useless wasteland. It's... Just a backwoods place. It's not the backwoods. Mars is highly developed. Just you wait and see. Hi, kitten. What book did you bring me today? Oh, it's Sir Uncle's book. A voice photo. <laughs> it's Sir Uncle Young. Relax, smile, try not to look so nervous already. She'll love it. Okay, uh, this is in case pictures, in case I'm too nervous to say what I feel. Why does he have flowers in his hand? Maybe you should have flowers when you want to say what you feel. No good. Looks like we've been caught. It's the orbital surveillance satellite. Unidentified ship. State your affiliation and registration. What happened to your great plan, Dad? Well, it has nothing to do with me if they change the search patterns. That satellite's 20 years if it's a day, and they didn't change anything. Well, might have. I can't believe this. Just do something useful about this while I stall for time. Okay, I have a plan now. Dollface, come on! Sir Uncle! Can you intercept electromagnetic waves? Yes, I can, but why? Make it so. I've adjusted the defense field and formed a wave deflection field with a radius of 10 kilometers. Well done, doll. You hear that, Leon? We won't have to worry about them bearing down on us yet. Slick, huh? State your ship nationality and registration. This is the UNS Don Torres, Earth Army affiliate. We're on top secret UN orders. Ship's registration codes have not been transmitted. Go ahead. Confirming. Cannot connect to Relay Bureau. I don't have time to waste on this. We have our orders. Warning, warning. You must comply with all directives. Comply with all directives. He's firing at us, big brother. <laughs> its directive won't let it target us until it can confirm our identity. Dad, use microwaves as a countermeasure. It's an antique and has no defenses against overheating. That should shut it down. Don't get fancy, just blow it out of the way! If it's heat damage, they'll think it's just a malfunction. Right, we don't want to call a lot of attention to ourselves. You ready, doll? Get your microwave cannon set up! My cannon? Yeah, you remember. You used it before. The microwave cannon from your chest. Just overexpose the satellite so it gets damaged. All right, I'll give it a small blast. <laughs> That's what she calls just a small blast? <laughs> just think what that'd do to one of your TV dinners. Undirected actions during an investigation will not be tolerated. Nationality and registration. Excessive electric surge emission. Good, doll. It's working. Investigation. Hailing. Unidentified ship. Onboard temperature rising. Protect Better get another failure. angle. We don't want to hit Not the ender. Okay. It's not talking anymore. Like candy from a baby. <laughs> Stop the chat. The others will get here any minute. We have to move. What next, Dad? I know a place to hide. Bring up navigation. Set the coordinates for SG-7. What is it? It's remote and we'll be safe there. Sargasso number seven. Sargasso, indeed. How does anyone manage to find their way out once they get in? Don't worry. 
SG-7 really stands for Space Garbage Number 7. A filthy dumping ground. An illegal dump in violation of every waste code in existence. Leon, you and your corporate bean-counting brain wouldn't understand what the small merchants go through with labor and expenses. So they come here to get around the red tape. That's about it. Well, it's a place to hide, whatever it is. But how are we going to get down to Mars? We can't go to Dimos. They'll expect that. Okay, well, we have a lot of garbage here to work with. Non-combustibles and such. Heat repelling boards, ceramics. Mm -hmm. You mean we could put together some sort of capsule to go down in? That's my girl. You catch on quick. Uh, no, Dad! Build a capsule? I said it as a joke. What are you, crazy? We'll remodel our container as a landing capsule so we can get down to Mars. Did you just say... Well, that's completely insane, Dad! Insane. He has just gone insane, Leon. No man in his right mind would even consider it. Your old man's in his right mind all the time, thank you very much. If you want to win the respect of your children, always be a role model for how to act. I'll screw all that. Screw all what? Uh, never mind. Just put your heads together and come up with a design. <gasps> uh, we've got no design experience. Well, here's your chance. Wait a sec. This isn't just a school project. If it doesn't work, we all die. Well, every man has to put it all on the line one or two times in his lifetime, you know? First off, this has been like eight or nine already. Secondly, yeah, just how many plans do you oh, have no, that you've actually thought through? Just forget the stupid plans. He's making all this stuff up as you just go on and on. Huh. Any better ideas, Pumpkin? Let's ride Dolores. It'll take a few trips, but it'll be safe. That'll never work. But they'll detect us then. They'll be on the lookout for LEV action to begin with. We've got one shot. It's all or nothing, okay? It's always all or nothing. Acceleration completed. We're entering the atmosphere. Big brother, we better get down, okay? I swear. Everyone remain calm. Remain calm? We're plummeting in a casket made of garbage! It looks like it's all going well for now. What do you mean for now? Don't worry, Pumpkin. The heat-resistant boards will keep us from burnout. Nice try, but no cigar! The problem is Mars' outer atmosphere is three times as dense as Earth's! I don't know how we can make it hold! What if Dolores supported it from underneath to slow the acceleration? The container's too unstable for it to work! The force of Dolores pushing upward against the pressure would crush us! No! Two of the outer layers are ripping off together now! What did I tell you? Well, that sucked all over. We've died five times already. It's not going to work, and I'm out of ideas. Leon, you mustn't give up. I'm counting on you, son. Count on this, Dad. I've been a failure at every single thing I've ever tried to do in my life. Dollface, we're back to hauling garbage. Okay. Well, this isn't the best, but I don't expect you'll find any heat-resistant titanium out here. Beggars can't be choosers in a place like this. Hey, Dad! Check it out! Did you find something worth using over there? <laughs> it's perfect! A lightweight sort of styrofoam-like fake batten. Well done, Noel. It'll make a great ceramic heat shield for the outer surface. Excellent work. Well, as a former construction site boss, I certainly know my building material. Yeah, it's a handy skill. Touchdown! It just might work. I think we've actually got ourselves a capsule. Way to go, kids. We're on our way. <sighs> okay, but that's just the simulation. Huh? How hard would it be to keep a positive attitude for a change? 
Look, I'm not all that crazy about the idea of becoming a shooting star. Isn't that right, Kitty Poo Poo? Well, you can like it or not, but this is the way we're going, okay? I knew you'd say that. Attach one of those heat panels over on this end, and it'll be fine. I love that. It'll be fine. Like half done. When I say fine, it'll be sufficient for the task. There you go being negative again. Hey, we're negative here for a reason, Dad. To save our butts. Look, don't blow your stack. It's going to be fine. I mean, really fine, not just some sort of so-so fine. So stop worrying, all right? OK, Dad, whatever. But every time you make a decision, it blows up. And the saddest part is that you don't even realize it. This one's empty. Give me another. You got it! What is she doing? You guys know? You told her to stand guard, didn't you? Who knows? She's just a machine. Can a machine get bored? I'm beginning to think she might be more. What is it? Stop fooling around and wasting time. <gasps> You're the one who asked, Dad! Just get back to work. I never thought she'd be in a hurry to leave Ender. We finished it somehow. And you know... It's gonna all work out. Yeah. You kids about ready now? To get into our floating tombstone? It's actually not too bad for the lousy materials we had to work with, I guess. That's the right spirit there, Leon. I knew you could do it. Front and center now, dollface. Let's go. Huh? What does she have there? Sir Uncle, will you have this? What? What is it, doll? A giant cabbage? A cauliflower? It's a rose, sir, uncle. A rose? For when you want to say how you feel about someone. You don't say. It's a great thing, doll, but we can't take it with us. It's too big. But, but I made it for you. There's an old saying, let the lilies lie. These things should stay in their natural habitat. It's not a lily, it's a rose. Well, they're both flowers, right? I can't believe this nonsense. Oh, leave her alone. I think it's cute. Like this? Yeah, maybe a little more to the right, no left. Okay, perfect. And if you just give it a little spin, I don't think anyone will complain about it. She did well with that scrap metal. I almost wonder if we shouldn't let her put her talent to use in the capsule. Hmm. Hey, Leon, dollface. What is it? Let's rethink our design for a minute. What? Just want to tack on a couple of fail-safe devices. There's always something else. All right. Only one of us can go down in the cockpit, so we're going to draw straws. You two pick. Longwind is the winner. And you, Dad? I'm responsible for this shebang. I'll pass. Uh... Mm, okay. <sighs> we have a winner. Hey! That doesn't count. The cat doesn't count. Hey, Kitty's part of the family too, yep. you know. Uh, you mean you'll take his side, big brother? You're just a poor loser. Oh, why couldn't I be a cat? Oh, my darling. Please forgive me, Enter. You've been such a loyal, good friend to me all these years. And this is how I repay you by abandoning you in a heap of space junk. 
Come on, Dad. This is pathetic. Get a hold of yourself. She'll just drift like the rest of the garbage. Have some respect. She's part of the family. Dad! Uh, no, I mean there's a chance to recover her. No, just let... Goodbye, Ender. May we meet again. This time we'll go to primary deceleration. I can't go! This is crazy! Call the whole thing off! Calm down, Noel. The whole thing will be over in no time at all. This should be a real hoot. We've got a spray gun for a deceleration rocket. Okay, so we won't have any control. What's your point? We're all gonna die. We're gonna die. Let me out of this flying death trap. Her resignation <laughs> is important in a man. I'm not a man! Commencing secondary deceleration. <laughs> Can you stop screaming already? We're going to die anyway. That's getting very irritating, Noel. <laughs> Is Dolores keeping up with us, son? Not a clue here, Dad. We've got no communication. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we've lost a layer of heat shield just now. I know, but you think it'll keep? Let's see. It'll break away from the outer hull first, which should maintain our balance. And if not, well, then we're toast. Oh, help me, help me, help me, help me! Dolores will be able to keep up. No I, problem. I really hope so. No more! It's going way too fast! the lower strata. We've cleared a major hurdle. I kept telling you it'd be all right, Noel. Noel? Well, that's okay if you passed out. After all, you're only a girl. What? Leon? Oh, good grief. Let's see. Hey, Dollface, are you there? Yes, sir, Uncle. Good girl. Time for you to jump in now. Right. Seaweed plant. A 
seaweed plant? To increase oxygen, they bioengineered a seaweed for the oceans, but low gravity made it grow out of control. One of those giant bubbles it trapped must have carried us to the surface. You know, we're the luckiest family ever. And Leon, my boy, you made me proud. Oh, uh, did I, Dad? Oh, this is good. What are we supposed to do now? Sir Uncle, you are safe and sound. Yes, you're okay too. I was so worried. I'm glad it's all done. And you know what? So am I. <gasps> what is that? Huh? Huh?